Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'll show you how to add a contact form on any WordPress website using a free plugin. Let me show you an example of the contact form. This is the contact form that I have created using the free plugin. You will see first name, last name, phone number. From here, you can select the country code and add the phone number here, email address, message. After that, we have check boxes and we also have the radio buttons. If you want, you can add more fields in the contact form. You can also customize this contact form. So this is fully customizable contact form. If you want to show this contact form in the sidebar, you can also add this contact form in the sidebar widget. So let's see how we can add the free contact form on any WordPress website. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website. And on this website, I'm using the free Spectra Page Builder plugin. I also have the Spectra Pro plugin installed and in one of the previous videos I have shown you how to install the free Spectra Pro plugin. Spectra is one of the best free page builder plugins that you can install on your WordPress website. When you install the Spectra plugin it is going to add more than 30 blocks to your default WordPress editor. So you can use all these blocks on your WordPress editor. I have created videos on how to install and use some of these blocks of Spectra page builder plugin. I'll give you the links in the description box if you want to watch those videos. So let's go to pages and let's go to the demo page. In previous video, I have shown you how you can use the Instagram feed on your WordPress website. I'll give you the link to this video in the description box. So as of now, I'm going to delete this block. This is also added using the Spectra Pro plugin. Now we are going to add the contact form. So click on the plus sign here and search for form. You will see it form or you can click on plus sign here and you will see all the Spectra blocks that you can use on your WordPress website. And here you can search for form or in the search box, you can type in form and you will see the form block here. So I'm going to use this block. Click on it. Let's close this one. Close it from here. And this is the form block. So there are three different types of forms that you can use. The first one is simple contact form, then newsletter form and suggestion form. So we will go through all these options. So first we'll start with the simple contact form. Click on it and you will see a simple contact form and you will see a simple contact form you can also add this contact form in the sidebar widget you can go to appearance and go to widgets if you have a sidebar widget you can add the contact form in the sidebar widget also let me show you so this is the main sidebar if i want to add contact form i can click on plus sign here and search for form and from here i can add the contact form in the sidebar so let's go back to the page so these are the basic fields, first name, last name, email address, and message. And we have submit button. In the right hand side, you will see the settings of this form. So you will see some presets here. If I select this one, you will see the box, field box is completely different. So you can use one of the presets. Let's go to general. Under general, you will see the name of the form is spectra form. You can change it and the label is hidden. Now, if you want to show the labels, you can enable this one. You will see the labels for the fields. Style, under style, you will see overall alignment to the left, to the center, or to the right. So I'm going to set to left. Message, this is the success message. The form has been submitted successfully. And if there is an error, it will show this message. This is the submit button. These are the preset for the submit buttons. If you want to change the text, you can simply change it from here. Let's change it to send. And this is how it will look. Instead of submit, we are using send. Now below that, you will see actions. Under actions, you will see the note. It is required to enter an email ID. So we need to enter an email address here. So you need to enter your admin email so where you want to receive the details. So here you need to enter your email address and all the form submissions will go to this email address. This will be the subject. So you can change the subject line of the email that you are going to receive. You will see the Google reCAPTCHA. You need to enable the reCAPTCHA. If you want to use the Google reCAPTCHA, you need to enable it. And from here you can enable version one or version two. It says, please configure the Google reCAPTCHA. So you will need 
site key and the secret key to enter for the Google reCAPTCHA. You can go to Spectra, go to Settings and here you will see Integrations, go to Integrations. Under Google reCAPTCHA, you can enter your site key and the secret key. Once you enter it, the Google reCAPTCHA will be enabled on your contact form. So as of now, I'm going to disable it. Let's go to Style Settings and under Style, you will see the basic style settings. Let's go to color, change the color. So you will see the change in the label colors. This is for the label. Input, so these are the input placeholder. This is the placeholder color. Just like this, you can change the placeholder color. Background color, you can change the background color for the field. If you want to add border to the field, you can add the border, you can change the border color. Input typography, you can change the input typography, you can change the font size, font family, checkbox. We do not have the checkbox right now. I'll show you how does this work. This is for the normal, this is for the active. So these are the basic color settings that you can customize. Let's go to advanced animation. If you want animation, you can add animation. However, this is the feature of the Pro plugin. If you do not have Pro, you will not see this option here. Display condition. If you do not want to show it on some browsers, you can select browser and it will not show on that browser. Responsive condition. If you want to hide this on tablet, you can hide it on tablet or on the mobile. Let's go back to general. Now, if you want to add another field, you can simply click on the plus sign here. And from here, you will see the option to add the field. Let's say I want to add phone number, so I can select phone number here and I can customize this one. If you want to move it above, you can select the phone number and you can simply change the position just above the email address. So we have got first name, last name, phone number, email and message. If you want to add another field, click plus sign and you will see different options, checkbox, Let's use the checkbox and you see the option one, option name and option value and option value. So I'm going to add some options here. So these are the options that I have added for the checkbox. Let's click on the plus sign and let's search for radio box. So you will see the radio box option also. I'm going to use the same options. So these are the some options I have used. If you want to change the title, you can change the title. All right, so we have got the checkbox as well as the radio box. If you want to customize a particular field, you can simply select that field. And from here, you can customize it. If you want to make it as required, you can select required here. Let's see, I want to mark this one as also required. I can mark it as required around or square. Let's mark the email address as required. And this is the placeholder. Let's update it. And let's see how does this look. So this is how the form will look. This one looks good from the phone number. You can select the country and you can add the phone number. You can select the country and I can simply add now here you will see these are the pop-ups that I have created using the Spectra plugin. And here I can add my phone number. This is pretty simple contact form. You can select the check boxes. You can select only one radio box. And once done, you can send it. So this was the first contact form. Let's try the other one. So I'm going to click on the plus sign. Let's add some space. And below that, I'm going to add some title. All right, now click on the plus sign again and search for the form. We already have it here. And I'm going to select this one, the second one, newsletter. For the newsletter forms, it is going to look for only two fields, name and email address. You can select the email and mark it as required. And if I go to, if I select the form and you will see the basic settings again. Submit button, actions. Now here you can add your action. 
the same thing is there the only thing is that we have only two fields if you want to add fields you can add fields from here let's add spacer and let's try this third one this is suggestion form so I'm going to add the name here now for the suggestion you will have name email radio box subject and message so all the three types of forms are similar we can add fields we can customize them so basically you can say that these are the three different types of templates that they have created for the contact form otherwise you will see all the settings are same let's see how does this look on the tablet so this is the first contact form this is the second and this is the third contact form let's click on the mobile and this is how to look on the mobile device so if you are not using any page builder plugin you can definitely try using the spectra page builder plugin so this is how you can add the contact form on your wordpress website using the free spectra page builder plugin that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.